Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this brand new drink in this Ninja Creamy Deluxe. It's called the Creamy Sino. It uses coffee. So I just got this brand new Ninja Creamy Deluxe. Ninja did send this to me for free, but this video I was not paid to do. I'm super excited because the Ninja Creamy Deluxe has this drinkables. You can do frozen drinks, slushy. I just did a video on slushies. It makes really good slushies and Italian ice, but it's got this brand new mode. Cremacino. And Miss Fiona is up from her nap. Okay, so I had to do a little prep work the night before. This is frozen. It's got some coffee, sugar, and half and half. So you're gonna put a third cup of sugar into this, and then you're gonna brew the coffee. Eight ounces of coffee. I use my Keurig K Supreme or K Cafe Plus. I brewed an eight ounce Dunkin' Donuts coffee into that sugar. Then that sugar all dissolved, and then you're gonna put um, three fourths of a cup, half and half, the half and half in there, mix all that together. This is frozen now. Now with this Ninja Creamy Deluxe, these containers now have two different max fill lines. So when you're doing scoopable, like ice cream and sorbet, you're going to fill it up to here. When you're doing drinkables, you're, it's got another freeze line. So I filled it up to this point right here. Now I'm going to fill it from the freeze line to the pour in with liquid. And then we're gonna put it in there. Now the liquid you're gonna use is, these are a little, a little confusing. So the freezing is this, these ingredients and they call this the processing. So for processing, I'm gonna put some coffee in. So I'm gonna brew another eight ounce coffee. So I'm brewing a Dunkin' Donuts cake up eight ounces. Now that coffee is gonna be really hot. So it didn't say anything about if the coffee could be hot or cold, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it with it hot and we're gonna see how it does. Okay, so the coffee's done. Let's go ahead and pour it in. All right, we're gonna put it in. We gotta be careful because that is hot. Put it into our container. We're gonna put our lid on. Got the paddle wheel in. Now with this Creamy Deluxe, you slide it in now. It's got like a little rail. Slide it in, we gotta turn it, and I'm gonna be careful, I have liquid in there. I don't want it sloshing all over. Turn it on, I always have to do full. So anytime you're on this, this drinkable side, you have to select full. If you do this, you can't rotate it over there, but if you select full, now I can go over here. Again, slushy milkshake, let's do this one. I've never heard of this drink. Now I'm simply gonna press the, pa the start button. Five minutes. Okay, so I am getting some spillage coming over. Okay, that's my fault. I added too much coffee. I got in a hurry, and when I was pouring the coffee on top of the, the frozen part, I added way too much. I should have stopped. I didn't stop at the, at the fill line, at the max pour-in fill line. I didn't, I went way above it but I don't have any more frozen products, so we're just gonna have to see how it did. <laughs> so we'll all clean that up. All right, we do, oh boy, it's soup. <laughs> well, it's more like a milkshake. I think I could probably drink that with a straw. Let's, let's pour some. So it does have a little bit of ice in it. Okay, so it, it tastes really good. <laughs> it's not really, really cold. It's, it's like a medium cold. There's a little bit of ice left in it, but there's no bitter taste to the coffee. Um, that's gonna be a really good drink. Uh, but unfortunately, I gotta refreeze another mixture, so I can't, I'll have to pick up the video tomorrow. I'll have to dump this out. I may say that, that tastes really good. Um, but I'll have to refreeze some and do a correct one. So, to be continued, I had, you know, this is all my fault. I just got in too big a hurry, but I'm gonna leave it in the video and we'll make a correct drink. So I got the Ninja Creamy all cleaned up. I hope it works. Um, it got quite a bit of or, um, coffee down in there, but it's gonna dry out. 
Now let's make our salute. Let's make our uh, new mixture. So again, I'm following these ingredients. So you, I put the third cup of sugar right into here. Now we want to brew eight ounces of hot coffee into that so it will dissolve. Okay, so the coffee's brewing in. It, it, it says it can brew right into this. It's okay. And then after I stir that, we're going to add this half and half, a quarter cup. Okay, so this is all done. We got to stir it. That sugar needs to all dissolve. Be careful, that is hot. Okay, after the sugar's all dissolved, add a quarter cup of half and half. It was supposed to be three fourths of a cup of half and half. So I, I added a third, so I gotta add some more half and half. Okay, so by adding the proper amount of half and half, it brought me right up to the, this is the drinkable freeze fill. So that's, that's right where I'm going to be. Now I'm going to put this in the freezer and we're going to make this drink again because I think it's going to taste really good. Okay, so it's the next day. I just found one of my favorite drinks now. So I've been experimenting with it and I've learned how to make this drink and it tastes absolutely delicious. I didn't make a mess. There's two things I learned. The coffee should be cold. So don't put hot coffee in with the iced mixture and make sure you don't go above that, that full line. Okay, so here's the coffee, the sugar, and the half and half. Again, there's the line that you fill that up to when you're freezing it. Now there is another line for the pour in. Now I'm, don't go above that line, and I'm gonna go just a little bit below it. I, I don't want anything to come out at all, so I'm gonna go just a little bit below it. And again, the coffee I'm gonna pour in is, I put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. But here's the consistency, I made one earlier. It tastes delicious, it's, there's no bitterness to it. It's not a super sweet, uh, drink either but it's uh, it is definitely a little sweet it's got the consistency of like a slushy milkshake in between but it's got a nice strong coffee taste to it but again not bitter but just a nice coffee taste to it okay so it probably takes about six ounces of coffee I'm gonna pour it in again I'm not gonna go above that line we don't want any problems right about there I'm gonna hold just a little short just to be on the safe side Okay, so let's put it, I got the paddle wheel installed. Let's go ahead and install it. Okay, so again, select fold, rotate this over to Cremacino, and we're gonna press start button. Okay, so it's all done. I didn't get near the mess that I had yesterday. Let's open it up. Let's take this up. Oh yeah, it looks really good. Now my coffee was a little bit warmer than the one I fixed earlier. So this is a little soupier. Oh yeah, that, that looks really good. It has the consistency you can draw it up with a straw. Yeah, it makes a lot too. That's enough for two drinks. And I could, re so say I only use half of this, refreeze it, and then just hit um, respin the next time. Oh yeah, I can't stop eating this. This is really good. Okay, so let's add just a little Hershey syrup to the cup. Whoops, this is kind of a fine art here, but let's see how I do. Yeah, so pouring it into the container can be a little tricky, but just take your time. It's worth it. It's going to taste so good. That's how easy it is. And I still have a bunch left over. Okay, so if you want to add a little bit of whipped cream, I took some off the top here. Just drizzle just a little bit on top. 
Wow, that's the closest I've ever come to a pic being able to recreate a picture. And that was very, I mean, I had a learning curve there, but it was well worth it. This is an absolute delicious tasting drink. You do have to drink it kind of right away. It does start to melt, but it's a refreshing drink. Again, I just can't stress how good it tastes. And it does have that coffee taste to it. Yeah, so I've got three favorite things from this. This is probably my favorite right now, just because, you know, I like coffee. It tastes really good. Um, the ice cream it makes is really good. The, the sorbet that it makes is really good. So this is just a really fun machine. But you do have to do that prep work ahead of time. That's the only thing, but it is definitely worth it. Yeah, I recommend buying some extras of these containers. Again, I'll put a, I'll put a link to it to Amazon. And I also am a, a Ninja affiliate now. So I'll put a link to it that will take you to the Ninja website. Now, on the Ninja website, they do have a $30 off coupon right now. So if you click on those links, the products won't cost you anymore. But I do get a percentage of the sale. Yeah, again, I did. I had the original Ninja Creamy, which I loved, and I thought I don't really know why they made this newer one deluxe, but I get it now. The drinkable side, that's going to be a huge hit. So, like for frozen margaritas, frozen drinks, slushies, I can see where that's going to be a huge hit. So, if there's any other drinks you'd like to see made, leave them in the comments down below. I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe. So, right below the video, there's a thumbs up. If you could give it a thumbs up. There's also a subscribe button, and then there's a little bell. If you hit the little bell, you'll get a notification when I release a new video. And below the video, you'll see a little word that says, see more. If you click on that, then it takes you to the full description of the video. And there you'll see my Amazon storefront, a link to this on Amazon. I also have a link to these. These are really cool. That's a bamboo lid, mason jar. I've got links to all my products there. So again, I really appreciate everybody's support, and thank you so much for watching.